Hello friends, welcome to Vidya Institute. In this video, we will learn how to create a new user in the Salesforce org. So first of all, let's sign in to our Salesforce org using the username and password we have created. So let's click in sign in. We will get the option to register our mobile number and we can skip that. So here we are on the backend screen of our Salesforce org. So on the quick find box you have to write user clicking on user you will get an option called as new user so clicking on new user we can register a new user on our salesforce org and the email id which we mentioned here in on that email id the user will get the login credentials and he can reset the password accordingly so first of all let's create a sample record let's write the name of the user so the alias box will be automatically pop up now let me tell you that this email box the email can be same as the email which we have used for previous users other users as well so email need not be always different let's so that let me write a email address but the username must be different so if the username is already used then it must be different and the most important thing is it should be in the form of a email address it need not be email address but it should be in the form of this so this is the these are the mandatory things which we have filled the fields were mandatory so now we can assign a role to the new user we are registering so there are various roles like ceo coo and well we will learn about the importance of role in the upcoming videos so let's assign this user a role of sales team channel sales team now we have the other term called as user license so this is the license which we are providing to the user so there are various type of license like chatter salesforce salesforce platform so let's assign this user the salesforce license and let me tell you this that this salesforce user license is can be uh, given to only two users in the free edition of salesforce developer so if you are just learning salesforce using the developer org which i have told you to create in the first video so we can assign only two users this user license so this is the the first user is this one which i have created the profile so this was also assigned this user license salesforce and this is the second one so if you want to create another user you will find that this button the salesforce selection button won't be available so this is the case now we have a profile selection option here we can assign uh, various profiles and let's assign this user a profile of sales profile now clicking on save now what has happened is the user is created and the email address we have mentioned here on this email address the user will get the notification to reset its password and he can he can sign in to the salesforce org using this username and the password he has created now as you can see that we have assigned a profile called as sales profile to this user now what is the importance of profile so the point is that we assign a same profile to the group of users who need to have similar access level on the salesforce org so for example we have seven users from the same department and all of them want same level of access so we'll we will assign us same profile to all of them and the other thing is every user has to be assigned a profile it is not possible that a user is not assigned a profile and multiple profiles can be assigned multiple profiles can't be assigned to a single user a user can be assigned only one profile but a profile can be assigned to multiple users for example this sales profile can be assigned to more than 5 10 people other users as well so this is the case and in the next video we will learn more in detail about profiles so as we can manage the level of access the user has using this profile button so like this is the various profile names and to create a new profile we have to click this clone button so we can create a new profile only by cloning an existing profile like we click clone here so we can create a new profile just giving it a random name and we will talk about this in the upcoming lectures in more detail 
this so this was about uh, just an introduction about profiles and we have successfully created the new user and also there is one more term called as permission sets so like we have profiles we have a term as permission sets as well so this is also used to uh, provide a particular extra uh, privilege to a user like some user wants a more better uh, access to the org that is not possible just by using the profile so then we will use permission set so this was just all about the creating the new user and uh, just intro about profile in this video so thanks for watching and you can also connect with, with me on linkedin as well so this is my linkedin profile link myself anirut garg and i am currently working as a salesforce administrator at accenture so you can search simply by writing anirudh garg on the search box or or this is the url so thanks a lot thanks for watching